Welcome back everybody to our let's play of another code to memories or trace memory for some guys some of you guys in the states. We are on chapter 4 episode number 4 and it is called the reunion with the father. Now I know just to stop before we start the video uh, hopefully my audio is all right. I know from the second half of episode 2 and the full episode of number 3 was I'm not quite sure. I don't know what went wrong there. It sounds the quality of the uh, audio was atrocious. I, I tried to try um, edit it up to see if I could fix it, but it it didn't really help much at all. I've done a few tests now just before I start this one, and everything sounds as normal as it should do. I mean, it's not going to be the best quality, but it should, it sounds like it, what it should be. But uh, I hope. For God's sake, I hope it's all right while I'm recording this episode. Otherwise, I'm going to have to do the whole episode again. Because I, I do not want to listen to a quality of that low standard from that video. From, well, episode three anyway. But uh, hopefully everything is okay. But uh, I thought I'd get that off before we start off. So anyway, we are on then, uh, chapter four, as it said. It seems we are going to finally at last meet Ashley's father, who has somehow, or for some reason, avoided us since this far. And he seems to be quite far into the mansion. We, uh, coming back on to recap the last episode, we actually found this passageway again to the next area, while also finding a shoe in a suitcase that was hidden in a secret room that belonged to D. Which is a bit unusual. Why was the shoe hidden? Because it just it just feel like it was sort of put away and sort of tried to be forgotten about. But we'll f hopefully find that the answers in this episode, right? So I haven't done this for a while, so hopefully everything will go smoothly. Hopefully I remember the buttons correctly, and everything records fine. Also, I need to, um, there's another thing I need to do, I, 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 can, I tend to have the volume quite high when I play this, so I can hear it quite clearly, but uh, it seems to be coming a little bit of a feedback when I did the videos before, so I'll try and keep the volume as low as I can on my headset so you won't be able to like, hear a double audio, so apologies for that. <coughs> so, let's get on the way. Hey, smells like something's burning. Yes, I smell it too. I didn't know ghosts could smell. To be honest with you. Can ghosts actually smell? I, I don't know. Alright, we seem to be in some sort of big dining room here with a big portrait on the uh, on the wall here. If I get my little mouse in my house up. What have we got? So we've got a uh, newspaper, I think. I'm not going to examine anything just yet, so I'll have a little more friend room. So here's the fireplace with the uh, big painting on the top. Anything around here? Uh, nothing there. There's a door here that leads to the next area, I guess. Okay, we have a newspaper. We have a chair as well. Looks like someone was sitting down recently and re uh, reading this newspaper, wasn't they? An old newspaper is on the table. The newspaper is 11 years old. Seattle Daily Sentinel. Scientist dies. Motive unknown. The newspaper is dated the 16th of the 7th. Or for us in the UK, the 7th, the 16th. Yeah. No, actually, he's right. What am I talking about? Shut up. The article reads Scientist dies. Motive unknown. On the night of the 15th. On the 7th, Dr. Sayo Co. Robbins, 28, of MJ Labs, was fatally shot in the chest at her home. Sayo Co.'s young daughter, Ashley, who was three, was hiding in the wardrobe in the house. At the time of the shooting, at the time of the shooting, and sustained and no physical harm to herself. The first on the scene was her victim's husband, Dr. Richard Robbins, 30. He has sequentially, I think, been brought in for questioning by the authorities as the chief suspect based on all the evidence currently available. Ooh! So, 
so Richard Robbins, her dad is the prime suspect in her murder. Oh shit. <laughs> oh dear. And also, yes, we now unfortunately know that her mother is confirmed dead. So, my mother is dead? She was murdered. Oh. I'm remembering that dream I always had. The one about the night of my third birthday. The one when I was sitting in the kitchen, waiting for Dad to come home. On the table was a cake with three candles on the top, and next to it there was a teddy bear with a red ribbon. Then, someone came in. You can't have another! I heard Mum shout that. And then... Oh... Ashley? What's wrong? Ashley? It's nothing. I mean, that's probably quite a lot to take in. I mean, she's only, uh, what is she, 12? Is she 12? Oh, thir 13, we can, I think. To find a newspaper saying that your mother is dead, she was actually then murdered, and the prime suspect was your father. I mean, that's quite a big bombshell to suddenly bestow her, you know what I mean? I remember that night with Mum. Quite a lot to take in for a young girl. Okay, we have the fireplace. The candelabra lights the room. Alright, let's have a look at this giant painting with a big gold frame. Is it gold? It looks like a banana. It looks banana. There is a picture on the wall. It is of two boys. It's probably Henry and Thomas, isn't it? The boy on the right looks younger. The boy on the left looks older. Is, is that all we're going to say? Okay. Alright, fireplace. There is a fireplace. The smell is coming from here. Oh yes, we were talking about the smell from earlier, so it's going to be burning. So I'm guessing it was in here. There are ashes in the fireplace. There's also some some sticks. There's also some, some sort of paper here. If I can get it. There's there's burnt paper in the fireplace. The paper has writing on it. Part of it is too burdened to read. Increasing chance implement fabricated memories merging. Using another replay memory, however, in practice. Another. This is an essay and another. Seems like somebody's not a fan of another project because somebody's burning burning uh, pieces of paper and it was just recent as well so who who's burning shit it's a fire hazard I'm so actually surprised you get a paper from all the way over here alright let's go next door I think we should look around this room a bit more actually oh oh Ashley what's wrong Dude, D, she just realised her mother is dead and the prime suspect was her father. I mean, you gotta, you gotta understand this, dude. Oh, we're now sitting on the chair. Oh, she looks quite sad now. I think she's, I think she's like crying on the on the table. I can't tell anymore. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. What do you mean? It wasn't just a dream. I remember now. What do you remember? I'm just like you. I saw it all. Mum was trenched in blood. It was red everywhere. She was on the floor. Dead. Ashley. 
That newspaper said my mum was murdered. Ashley. And, according to the article, the person who killed my mum might have been dead. I, I didn't come here all, all the way here to find that out. Ashley. I've had enough. Ashley, can I say any more words than this one? No, really, enough. I want to go home. But where? I actually spoke other words. Unbelievable. What? Where will you go? Listen to me, Ashley. Why did you come to this place? To see my dad? To see him. Why? I wanted to hear the truth from him. Well, your father is waiting. Let's go find him. Uh, D. That's not soon. Don't forget the way you felt when you first came to this island. Your father will be able to explain what happened to your mother. But it's only natural to be afraid. But the truth is nothing to be scared of. Real sadness comes from not knowing the truth. I should know. Man, this is, this became like a this, this is sad. This is really sad, yo. It's, you gotta feel sorry for. I mean, uh, these are the two. These are two kids like that have watched their parent. Well, one of their parents brutally getting shot, and their lives torn apart. Ashley, Ashley ended up having well, unknowing the truth about her mother and the father disappeared. Whereas D here saw his father die. Tom, Thomas die from somebody shooting him, and then ended up somehow dying himself as a young child. It's kind of, it, it's, a, it's a sad twist to this, this story, isn't it? Come on, Ashley. Your father is waiting. D. What do you want to do, Ashley? You're hard on me, D. Because you're telling me the truth. Are you coming? You're right. Ashley. Oh, here we go again. Come on. Let's go. Oh, You gotta you got feel sorry for these young kids. Like, I know... Because the fact is that... I know this is just a game and all, but... In reality, things like this do happen. And kids have to go through some horrible stuff like this. So it's... it's it just it makes you, it makes you think, doesn't it? Dad is waiting for me. Come on, Ashley, up we go. Let's do it. Let's go find your dad. That was a nice moment, wasn't it? I think we can go into next. Oh, I've just recorded. Uh, I will. There's a reason. I'm I'm going to turn the volume down for this little section, and you'll see why. Because we're into the lounge. That's why. I remember this room. There's a noise and noise in my room. Can you hear that noise? I'd have to be deaf not to, you idiot. It's loud. Where is it coming from? The counter, uh, I think. Alright. I would look around, but I think for the best for everyone's ears in this video, I'm just going to go straight to the source, which is uh, uh, right here. Because there's always a little bugger is this thing. Yeah. There is a radio on the counter. It's a noisy bugger. That noise is coming from this radio. How can I turn it off? And save everyone's ear holes. Right. So we need to turn it off. Look, DJ set. If I can get it to spin more. Oh. That's right. Oh. There we go. 
peace at last. After we turned the static off, the radio played a pleasant tune. I know this song. It's called The Miracle of Blue Moon. Hmm, I've never heard it before. My father liked this song. It was popular long before you were born. I see. Uh. What just happened? Hey! Someone's coming! Uh oh. Oh god! It's time! It's here! Hey! Someone's coming! Hello there, mister. It's you. The fuck? Hello, why hello there. You're mysterious, creepy-looking man. I wonder if you can see D. I like how they look at him like, what the fuck are you? Ashley? Oh, Ashley. My Ashley. Yay, we finally find Dad. Where the hell have you been? Dude, you're a creepy, you're, you're a spooky looking dude, man. To be honest with you, you are a spooky dude. I'll take a picture of you. Because you're a spooky dude. <clears throat> Ashley. I'm trying to think of a voice to give him, but I don't know. I don't have many voices in my vocabulary that I can do. I am Richard. Oh, that's, that's, that's bad. Uh, what should I do? This is my dad, Ashley. Yes, I've been waiting for you. I don't know what to call you now that you're right in front of me. Dad, did you bring the Daz? Uh, yes, it's right here, along with the cards that you left for me, Ashley. Thank you for coming all this way. I'm so happy to see you. What's the matter? Dad, where's Jessica? Good question, I actually forgot about her. Jessica? Jessica's missing. What do you mean, missing? She went looking for you but never came back. I heard the scream near the drawbridge and I found glasses by the floor by, by the gate. It's just it's it's just getting inside the mansion somewhere? No. I um I haven't seen Jessica. Where could she be? I'll find her. Don't worry. What's wrong? What are you thinking about? Dad, there is something that I wanted to ask you. It's about Mum. There is something I wanted to ask you. What? I wonder if it, oh, I wonder if it's because I actually took the picture. They're actually coming up with the, uh, the picture in the background. That's cool. <clears throat> mm, lemonade, lemonade, juice. lemonade is good for the soul. And, and, and for my voice. Why was Mum killed? Did you see that newspaper? Sayoko, your mother. Your mother was killed while trying to protect you and another. But who? Who would want to kill her? It wasn't you, was it, Dad? Ashley. You don't remember anything about that night, do you? I have dreams about that night. What kind of dreams? The way he's speaking is suspicious, don't you think? There's something not right about how he's speaking. In my dreams, I'm three years old, hiding in the wardrobe. 
crying myself to sleep. Then, all of a sudden, the doors of the wardrobe open and someone calls my name. Do you remember who that was? No, I don't. That's always the point where the dream ends. It kind of reminds me of, um, of uh, Edgeworth, Miles Edgeworth from Phoenix Wright's uh, Nightmare where he's, um, he's in the elevator. It keeps recur recurring and then he has that point where it, the gun goes off and he wakes up every time. It's kind of like that. It reminds me of that where it's like when the door, when the wardrobe opens, the end of the dream ends and you can never quite get the answer unless you sort of have examine it. That's why I couldn't remember what you look like. Don't worry about that, Ashley. That doesn't matter. Please forgive me. I'm sorry to have left you all alone for so long. Dad. Ashley. I... I didn't kill your mother. Dad. Sayoko was. Your mother was my one and only. When I lost her, I felt a part of myself went with her. It was for Sayoko. She was the reason why I continued to develop another. Strange, I always thought it was a strange name for a project, another. Anyway, Dad, is another complete? That's what the message on the Dad's card that you left me said. Ashley, another is the result of a life's worth of research by Sayoko and myself. And now that you are here, Ashley, it is complete. Okay then. Could you explain what another is, Dad? Another is. Hmm? Did you hear that? I did hear something there. What was that? What's making that sound? I'll go I'll go and check it out. Wait here. I'll be back. Okay. He's left me here. Was that your father? Yeah, I, I guess so. What was that suspicious noise though? That's interesting. It seems strange to me. When Dad hooked me, he smelt like cigarettes. That's my dad. I finally met my dad. I feel dizzy. Hold on. Could my father see you, Dee? No. But he couldn't see me. How come? Because your father doesn't trust people. You don't have to worry. Adults are all like that. Hey, I'm I'm not like that. How dare you? Why is it every time I play this, this game I have weird noises behind me? It's fucking creepy. This game is haunting me. I do not approve of this. Okay, that's where we just is that where he just left from there, didn't he? Dad, you were off again. Where did you go? Oh, I don't know. He's gone to find the source of the noise. Uh, we can now examine a few things because the radio is shut up. There is a glass cabinet displaying a wide variety of bottles. There is a radio on the counter. It's not going to... Probably, he's probably still playing that song, I think. I can't tell. We got a stool and some chairs. This looks like a little, obviously, a little bar area. This is, this is a nice, cool mansion. Yeah. We got a sofa. Anything on the sofa? The sofa is covered in dust. There is something on the table. It looks like a bottle. The bottle is knocked over. Where this thing? What's this? 
This is a lighter. The initials B E are engraved on the back of the lighter. B E. I got the lighter. B E. Who's B E? His name is B. Because it ends in E. I think this is the. I think this room is more searched. Let's move on to the next area, which is in here. Hallway! I mean, there's been quite a few hallways. We don't really, um, we don't usually name them, but we have this, this hallway is known as Hallway. Dad, where did your father go? He's like a fighting magician. Where did he, he just vanished? Okay, we've got a door here. Can I even go in the door? Don't look like it because I can examine the door. What's this thing? The door is locked, as usual. What's this? This is a keypad. If I can get on it. The door is locked. Now I want the keypad. I want this thing. The door is locked. Alright. Alright, fine, whatever. He's got oh, his end. Another door here. End of a wall. That's a, that's a funny looking wall. Hold on, come back. What the hell's wrong with this wall? It's obviously, there's obviously a bit of painting here that's moved. I've got this one there. A picture, a picture that decorates the wall. It's got a funny little pattern on the side of it. Oh, bugger. It's a picture of a moonlit bay. There's a pattern on the side of the ship picture. Hmm. We've run out of photos again. It's an outline on the wall. Something used to be here. It's now moved. Alright, we need to give us some photos. Uh, it's this one, isn't it? Alright, let's give us some photos real quick that we don't actually need. We need that one. I think we need ones with people in them. Oh, look! Hey, it's me! Oh my god, I made it into another video! Sweet Jesus! Go away, old man! Ow! God damn you! I just want to live. I just want to be in your video. I don't think we need this one. How do I get rid of this one? Uh, there we go. There's D, boys. Get rid of this one. Uh, I don't think we need this one anymore. I need that one. And yeah, that one. That one. That one. I think we need that one, I'm not too sure. There's D again. We, we don't need that one because we've got the one with D in it. Henry, Thomas, D's murdered site, uh, not murdered site, uh, his father's death site. Don't know why we've got a picture of that, but oh well. Don't need this. Family tree, that bloody puzzle. D shoe, scribble, desk, it's captain. Oh, oh that's alright, we've got a few. Alright, hopefully we got enough now. Alright, we got one door left here. So it is a uh, compass here. Oh, all this way. Kitchen! Oh, my nose is running. Got sniffles. Got sniffles coming on. I hope not. I hate sniffles. Oh, mousey mouse, go away. Right, this kitchen. This kitchen looks knackered. The power battery is not on. Well, that's a good thing. Otherwise, the house would not be non-existent. The wall is black with smoke. There is a kettle. It hasn't been used in a donkey's years. It's, it is knackered. The wall is black with smoke. All these pots and pans are this rusty and what a shit. There is nothing on the stand. Okay, what's this thing? We got some sort of furnace. Is this oven? Oh, okay. I thought it was a. That was a. That was a chair. That squeak. I know what that, I know that sound, because I'm moving my feet on it. There is something in the oven. 
This is, is that a bloody knife? The hell? Let's take a picture of that. Is this blood? That's not good. This is a knife. Why is there a knife in the oven? Uh, is she not going to comment on the book? Is that blood? Seriously? No? It's a plain kitchen cabinet. It's full of shite. Okay, we're not even going to comment on the blood. Alrighty then. The refrigerator door will not... That's a refrigerator! That's tiny! It's smaller than my fridge! Cabinet has dishes in it. What do you expect? It's a, it's a dish. It's supposed to do that. Oh, when it's raining again. The cabinet means many dishes. I don't know. Oh, wait a minute. There is a square plate. Have I actually ever looked in here? I don't think I've ever looked in this cabinet. What the hell? There's nothing in the drawer. What about this one? There's nothing in the drawer. I don't think I've ever seen this. What? Is there a nice card in there? Nothing in the drawer. I don't think I've ever seen this picture. I've never clicked on this, this, this little cabinet here. Are you serious? The walls are faded. I've got them covered in dirt. Hold on, we've got a dash card here. I don't think I've ever seen that. I was like, I don't remember them plates. What the dicks? Uh, I don't think it's this one. That's the main ones we've seen them before. Number five. Card number nine zero five. Which is memo. One of the difficulties I face living on this man in this mansion is food. I'm hardly a picky eater, but so but I'm so sick of living on canned food. What would I give for a fresh apple? Or a doner kebab? Or pizza? When I follow up for it, I hunt around the island for eating with edible plants, but I haven't found anything good enough to eat more than once. So I'm a slave to my to my can opener. Currently my three favourite canned foods are corned beef, spicy chili beans, and clam chowder. I don't think I've ever had any of them. Spicy chili beans, eh? Basically, what it is is it's beans. So, but it's spicy beans, which means your ass is gonna go like a flamethrower. Because beans make you fart. Beans give you ass wind, but spicy beans they give you they give you something we like to call the ring sting. <laughs> Next to the sink is a hand good Jeeve. This handkerchief looks new. Hey, there's blood. Oh, we got more blood. Oh shit. Hey, there's blood on it. What? We're not gonna examine it more. Okay, alright. Okay, so we have now we've got looks like we've got a bloody knife in there. We've got a bloody handkerchief, which is definitely blood, because you just said it's blood, because it's blood, because it's blood. Oh, it's down here. Door! It's locked. No, it's not. It's got rope on it. A rope is tied to the door handles. The rope is holding the doors closed. Ah! I can't get it off. This rope is too, too tight. Ashley, I hear something in there. Me too. I always do that. Even if I play the game a thousand times, if he says anything so spooky like that, I always get um my hair always stands up and I get the you know the um not the shiver, it's like the the little little I don't know what it is, like it spreads all over you like the I don't know what I can't remember the term. You get your hair stand on end, I don't know why, but I already know the shit. No, let's get this rope off. Take a picture. Okay. Oh. Can we use the knife? If it's anything spooky in any game, I, I always get that, that feeling where like your hair stands on end like for a split second. There is an oven that looks like a big furnace to me. So in the oven, it's the bloody knife. That, tell me that's not blood, seriously. Yeah, this might come in handy. I got the oh oh it's rust. That's kind of disappointing. Could have been a murder weapon. I'm like, oh shit! Look. Imagine if you walk around the corner, like in this game, and like you find there's a, there's a dead person on the floor, and it's like, oh shit! 
Imagine that. This game would be like so dark if that happened. Alright, so we want to use knife. I know, let's use D shoe. What are you doing with my shoe? Uh, nothing, I'm just looking at it. And he throws, she throws it at the door. Bitch! Open. Lighter would work, would it not? You burn that fucker. Oh well, choose the use the bloody slash rusty knife. I use the rusty knife. I'll try cutting this bitch. Okay. I don't know why, but I used to always do this when I play this. Yeah, I used to do it really slow. But for uh, video sake, let's just just do it. Ah! Cut that motherfucker! Yes. Correct. Come on. Come on. I mean, would you need to really cut it from there? It looks like it's blacker than that one. Hey! The rope has been cut. The doors will now open, and I really need to stop moving that squeaky chair because it's spooky. Alright, let's go. Storage room! Storage room, storage. Oh my god, there's a dead body. Holy shit! Hey! Jessica! Jessica's in the storage room! Jessica! What the dicks? And why is this part of this door funny like that? What's going on? She's exhausted. Slumped over in the corner on the floor of the storage room. Oh dear. Jessica! Jessica! Wake up! Uh, oh! Ashley! It's, it's, it's you! I, I'm so glad you're, you're safe. Jessica? I found your classes outside. I was so worried. You must be blind without them. I can't, I can't see so well. No, thank you. Are you hurt? How do you feel? I, I'm fine. But, I'm still a little dizzy. Why? What happened? I'm, I'm fairly certain I was drugged. The next thing I knew, I was locked in here. Who, who did this to you? What kind of person would do this? It was... Bill. Bill? Oh dear, we've heard this name before. He was on that scribbled paper, it said Bill was here. And it seems Bill is also the one responsible for attacking Jessica. So, we, ha we had a warning earlier that Bill is in the building. And he's now, we, he's now found out we... He's attacked Jessica. We need to be careful. We need to find him. Well, we need to be. We need to stay away from him, not find him. Bill. Yes. Bill Edward. Oh. Oh. Lighter. Lighter. B. E. That's his lighter. So he was in that lounge. He. He was a colleague of Richard's. Bill Edward. Why Bill would be here is completely beyond me. But I'm sure it was him. Yes, that was definitely Bill. Ashley, did you see him? Uh, no, I, I didn't. But I did see Dad. Uh, Ashley, are you sure? Could, could she see Dad, by the way? I'm so happy for you. You were able to meet Richard. Yes. Where is Richard now? He he was with me up to um, up until recently, but he went off somewhere. He he went off somewhere. Yeah. While we were talking, we heard a strange noise. Dad went to check it out and hasn't been back since. I found you while I was looking for him. I see. Jessica. Dad told me about another. What? 
Ashley, Richard told you about another? Yes. He said it was the research my mum lost her life for. Ashley, that's not true. Sayoko, your mother risked her life not for research, but for you. Ashley, your mother. Jessica, I saw the old newspaper. There was an article about mum's murder. Ashley, how many times have I said Ashley in this series already? Jessica, I know, I know, you know that dream I always have? It isn't just a dream. That night that mum died. That's where the dream comes from. Ashley, dad told me everything. He said that he didn't kill mum. I believe dad. Ashley. I thought we gave her her glasses back. Ashley, we need to find Richard right away. We have to tell him that Bill is here. I bet I'll bet Bill is here to get his hands on another. Okay, but there's no time to waste, Ashley. Get out of here. Bomb's gonna explode. Wait, what? Just kidding. Damn you. You go ahead. I'll catch up with you when I stop feeling so dizzy. Seriously, can we give your glasses back now? Can I actually take a picture? I might be able to show. The broken wall is there. No, I didn't mean to want this. I did see this though. A framed picture sits on the top of the box. Oh. That's a big picture. Look at the size of this bugger. A framed picture sits on top of the box. The frame picture is dusty. In order to get the dust off. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, it's one of these. You need to, you need to blow into the microphone to um, get the dust off. I don't know what the, what the microphone button is. <laughs> God damn it. That didn't work. Give me, uh, just give me a second while I try to figure out what the button is. How the hell am I going to do this? Oh, it's K. Oh shit, what happened? Okay, it's not K. Ah. Okay, okay. The M. Oh. Yes. Okay. I had to mess around with the hotkeys. I made it to the M button. So if I press the M button while moving mouse and mouse. Look, it's beautiful. I'm actually blowing on it. Very, very slowly. That'll do. The dust is gone. It's one of the pictures from it. Oh, it's the other, it's the other picture from the wall outside. This is a picture of a bay. I need to take a picture of this. Whoops. I don't need the mouse on anymore. 
Actually, no, I don't need to take a picture like that. A vague picture rests on the rocks. We need to take a picture like this. Whoops. There's a strange pattern towards the top of the picture. That's what we need to do. Is there anything else in here? I can't believe it's probably someone threw her in, like, get a bill and I like, just see kid like that. Uh, uh, Jessica and just lobbed her in here. I wonder if the, I wonder if that's Jessica's blood on the uh, handkerchief. Maybe that's maybe she picked up something for, like a slight injury or something. Unless it's Bill's blood. Mm. Ashley, was that Jessica? Yes. Did you not hear me say her name ten times? I was in the room. I'm happy that you found her. Yeah, but Jessica couldn't see you either, did I don't think we gave her her glasses back, that's why. You're right. Not all, not all adults are like that. I can assure you. Right. We just got, we just got in here, don't we? This is the only door we haven't gone through yet. The door is locked. There's a keypad on the door. Oh, now you tell me. What's the key, What's the code for the keypad? I have no idea. Let's try the old one. Let's try the, let's try the other one. There's a the one. There's a one, one, two, eight or something. No. It won't open. I wonder if the code is wrong. Or is that I just guessed? Now it's we have to do we have to do the painting thing again. So if I get this and then the other one somewhere. It's me! Oh, shut up you. Where's the other one gone? I don't know why they're not in always in order when you take into a picture. I don't understand the randomness of this. There it is. See, why is it over here? Right, so we need to put them in a certain way so that we can see the number. Now, if you look sideways, from what I can see, it looks like a two, a three. A six, and I think this is a. I think this is a nine. So it's. So I think it is two, three, six, nine. Let's try that. Let's try this then. So two, three. Six, nine, genius. I got it. Excellent. You think your father is back here, Ashley? Yes. I bet the laboratory is back here somewhere. Come on, Dee. Let's go. Oh, right. Oh, I thought they was going to carry on a bit more. Oh, okay. I better go over this again. I don't want to forget the important stuff. I thought it was actually going to be a bit longer. I thought it was going to be the next second. No, okay. That's cool. After solving the mystery of the candelabra in the last hallway, we went into the dining room. In the fireplace, we found a portrait burned as a teddy bear. Now it's more of a trait. If, if, if a teddy bear was in the, uh, the fireplace, I'm sure Delirious would come and save it. There's no way you get a teddy bear burn in the fireplace. That's right. They burned essay about another was in the fireplace. Who did it and why would anyone want to destroy the essay? It's probably Bill. I'm guessing he has a hatred or something towards it, maybe. In the old newspaper I found on the dining table. There was an article about the murder of my mother. 
After reading it, I remember the night when Mum was killed. My recurring nightmare of the night she died. The chief murder suspect named in the article was D. Richard Bell. Just oh D. Oh yeah, it's gonna be D. It was me all along. I I floated over to your apartment and shot your mother. What? You you bitch. Now it was Richard. That's right. The newspaper said the authorities considered Dad the chief suspect. Although I suppose in reality he probably would be a main suspect because he obviously has access to the house and he knew you know where all the stuff are. What happened then? Who was the person in my dreams? My mind was reeling as I walked deeper into the mansion. And finally, in the lounge, I met my dad. Dad. I asked my dad about the things that were written in the article. I asked him who murdered mum. He replied, he killed Sayoko, he didn't kill Right, Dad said that he, he didn't commit the murder. He said that while Mom, when Mum died, he felt that, that as though a part of him had died too. After hearing his story, I started feeling very sad. When Dad heard a noise outside, he went off to look, giving me. After waiting for Dad for a while, I went off to look for him. I headed to the back of the mansion. The doors between the kitchen and the storage room were tied shut. What did I use to open the doors to the storage room? Radio, rusty bloody knife, painting of a bang, now oh, is the bloody rusty knife. Right, I used, I used the rusty bloody knife to cut open the roof in the storage room. Look, it looks like blood, okay? I mean, it, it, it rusts, but I still, I, I wish it was bloody, it more, it more spooky. I found Jessica inside the storage room. Though Jessica was out of sorts and exhausted, she was fine. I was relieved to find her. Who did this to Jessica? It was... Richard. D, D again! D, what the hell? What are you, what are you doing? Ah, uh, yes. I kidnapped her too. I am an evil little ghost. You can't do anything to me. Oh, son of a bitch! Oh, right, it was Bill. Bing. Right. The one who attacked Jessica was Bill Edward. Bill is in the mansion. Wouldn't that mean the Wouldn't that mean the mansion sort of belongs to him because he's he's a descendant of the Edwards? I have to hurry and tell Dad. He's in danger. Okay. I think I remember now. Chapter 5, the second another. Mmm, so things are starting to heat up. We have finally found our father, but unfortunately we've also found Jessica. Or well, when I say unfortunately, I mean we didn't find her in good circumstances. She was tied to a column in a, in a dark storage room, and she may have sustained other injuries as well. Because there was a bloody handkerchief in the kitchen. Although it could be Bill's blood, we don't know, but it's possibly hers. So we found our dad, we found Jessica, but we still haven't found Bill. We need to be careful. He's still lingering around somewhere. Is he in the next section, or is he behind us? We don't know. But that will do it for episode number four, chapter four. Hopefully all the audio is correct and everything's gone smoothly. If it hasn't, I will cry tears into, into a big bucket and then drink the tears and then soap, soap some more. Please be alright. I don't want to do this again. <laughs> anyway, if you did enjoy episode 4, chapter 4, then please do give this video a like. Because it means a lot to me when people like my videos, because usually they're shite. But uh, it does give me great, great happiness, as I say, if people do enjoy my content. If you, do, if you did enjoy, then leave a comment if you have anything to say about the game, or how I'm getting on, or anything in general. And if you do really, really enjoy my videos, then press the subscribe button. And if you did press the subscribe button, press the, please click the bell icon for my rare uploads when they drop. But of course, I, as I always say, you don't have to do any of that. Even for watching for five minutes is greatly appreciated because 
because it is. You know, people people usually make many um, money videos, just views and content, and then money and all this. To be honest, I make videos because I enjoy doing them. I know they don't get a lot of views and they're, they're not very good and all that, but I don't care. I do because I enjoy doing it. And if you enjoy making videos, then you do it as well. But enough for me talking absolute bollocks. As usual, I will see you all in episode 5, chapter 5, where, where things may get spooky. Bye now.